Hello, Hopkinton, and welcome back to this uh, Wednesday evening, December 9th uh, edition of the Hopkinton Hangout Hour. I'm your host for this evening, Matt Clark. And of course, joining me today is uh, my co-host, Jim Cousins. Thanks for being here, Jim. My pleasure, Matt. Hi, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Also, thanks to uh, Bob Hamilton for taking care of things in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight, we have a, uh, a very festive, very um, special episode for you where we're going to be talking about um, some of our favorite Christmas traditions. It is and holiday traditions. It is that time of year, of course. Um, and uh, later in the show, we will also be we also reached out to the community to share with us some of uh, their favorite traditions and some uh, we also and we have uh, various photos and uh, videos from, from um, around town and from events in previous years. Obviously, this holiday is going to be a bit different, but that doesn't mean people still can't get into the holiday spirit. So, you know, let's just jump right into it, Jim. Uh, you know, it's December. Christmas is, uh, wow, is it Christmas two and a half weeks away? Just a little more yeah. than that? Wow, yeah. that, that's not much shopping time left. Got to get on that. <laughs> but um, do you have any, do you have any tr Christmas traditions, Jim, that uh, you do every year with your family? Well, first, growing up, when I was a kid, my father got these big red plastic bells that lit up. So he had three of them. And every year we would hang them from the garage overhang. And we would do them at different levels and they would blink. And I was told they originally played music too, but they never did in my memory. So that was always um, a big thing for me. And then in recent years, my mother has started collecting uh, Christmas dolls, uh, these collectible things, and I would go over and help them uh, set them up. And then for my family, I would say the traditions were mostly around people, mostly around relationships. So we would go to my in-laws down in Connecticut, and then they would have a party um, on Christmas Eve, and then we would drive home Christmas Eve night and then we have Christmas day morning at our house and then go to my parents' house in the afternoon. We, uh, so, so it was all really, you know, scheduling in my parents and my wife's parents. That's great, Jim. And, um, uh, we have uh, Mike Terosian just hopping in and now joining us in the conversation. He'll talk, so he'll talk uh, after Mike, he like to have his here. background. Yep. He's got yeah. the wrong background up. Yeah. But so, um Matt, how about you? What what do you have for for favorite holiday traditions? Uh, well, um how long does it have to be a thing for it to be a tradition? At least 3 years. Once is okay. unique, two could be kind of a coincidence, but if you do it 3 years in a row, it's a tradition. That's that's a good rule. Well, one of my favorite things that we do is um um Christmas Eve my extended family, we get together for what at my aunt's house for what she calls soup night. And everyone just makes a different soup. <laughs> and there's, there's tons of food to go around. There's broccoli cheddar, there's chicken noodle, there's clam chowder, there's French onion. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, how, wait a minute. Wait it's just a, minute. a good way to have wait a minute. family dinner. Where did that come from? How did it turn into, how did soup become the holiday night? Well, you know, it's it's winter, so you know, soup is something good to to warm your blood with, and like it, it's a comfort food. I'm not really sure where exactly it came from because we that that side of the family I always see on Christmas Day anyway. I'm uh, I'm very close with my mother's side of the family. Uh, we we used to always go to um, her parents' house, um, but they're and they're both still alive, my grandmother and grandfather, but they're getting on in years. So to take some of the stress off of them, we hosted, we host Christmas day at um, one of my other, one of the other houses in town nowadays, the, uh, these last few years, but um, just one year, I think it was, Oh, you know what, what it was? It was when my um, aunt and uncle moved into a new house back in 2012 was the first time they did okay. it. Um, so they wanted to have everyone around cause they had just been in for a few months at that point. Um, By the way, I, we didn't do it until I was in college. Yeah. By the way, we should mention, too, that this is Wednesday night and we're live. So if anybody is watching us and would like to chime in with their traditions, please feel free to either put it in the chat on Facebook or on our YouTube channel or even give me a call. I'm here at the station. 435-7887. We'd love to hear what your holiday traditions are. 
Yeah, of course. All right. We would so, love. hey, our main man, Mike Tarosian, is now in the meeting. I can't believe how much trouble I've had. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You think after how, how long we've been doing this now for eight months? Yep. <laughs> you think I can log into Zoom okay? Anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you for covering for me. I appreciate it. So, traditions. Yeah. Traditions, traditions. Oh, my goodness. I always talk about my Italian side of me. And one of the biggest traditions they always had, which I never, never liked, was the Italian seven fishes on Christmas Eve. The big thing was having seven different types of fish. And that was your meal. And it wasn't a meal that you, it wasn't a big, like, sit down, have a dinner meal. It was more like everyone would just, like, pick and eat all night long and socialize because Christmas Eve was about all the different families. And when I say the different families, like my brother and his family, my sister and her family would come in at all different times. So you had the food there and it was just like, you knew from, I'm going to say like 5 PM to 9 PM, people are just going to be coming over and a lot of friends too. We always had a lot of friends stop by the house. So I, I hope that fish and chips was one of the fish. No, not even <laughs> close. <laughs> not even close. There was nothing. No, they had, I mean, they had the, the clams. They had the scallops. They had uh, all these other dishes, which I didn't even describe. And I never liked any of them. I'm not a seafood person. So it's, and, it's fish with a lowercase f. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, uh, they would always, there was me and, uh, and uh, two of my nephews that didn't like the fish either. And my sister always brought a thing of chicken parmesan. <laughs> so we would have <laughs> at least something decent to eat other than bread and some desserts or whatever. But yeah, the, the seven fishes was a, was a big thing. And, and that that's very popular today with a lot of people. And I guess it was because it was uh, everyone would bring some kind of dish with them. It wasn't like, the host making all seven types of fishes. Yeah. What about decorations? Either now, Mike, I was just telling Matt that it has to be three years to be a tradition, but I'm going to give you a break on that. Cause this is your, this is your first Christmas in your new place, right? This is the first Christmas here. Oh, no, no, this is my second one here on, uh, back in Hopkins. But oh, really? This Time number flies. Two, well, I, I, I moved in in uh, October last year, so it wasn't that bad. Okay. Uh, Yes, traditions, I, I, I agree with you, Jim. It has to be at least three years. Decoration-wise, it was always a ornament for the family. There was this one special ornament every year. So our Christmas was decorating, you know, the lights, the garland, and what I like to call the filler ornaments, you know, that set of red bulbs or the set of white bulbs or something like yep. that. But every year we had a ornament that was special for the family. And of course, like in 1990, when, when uh, my oldest daughter, Stephanie, our first child was born that Christmas there, that was a special ornament because of her. So you had all those different things and, you know, and I'll tell you, we've had, <laughs> and of course, you know me, I think there's a total now still, cause we still do it, even though we're not all together anymore, we still do it today there are at least five Star Trek ornaments because me and the kids love Star Trek. And uh, yep. that, that in the family, as a family thing, that would be a special ornament. So you had it because of a child, you had it because of an event, or you just picked that one new ornament every year. And that was a special. And when we decorated the tree, that was the last ornament to go on mm. the top with the, the treetop would always be done, but the last ornament to hang was the one for the year. And that was a big tradition. When you say the one for you, you mean the new one, right? Yes, the new one. Yeah. The last one, like, you know, here's the ones from years past. And it could have been something that someone made for us special. Or uh, at the time, my wife was doing ceramics class one year. That was a special one for the family. So it, it, it could be anything. And that would be the very last ornament that you'd hang on the tree. Mm. We have one really, really special one. When my wife was just a little girl, she made a styrofoam cup with macaroni 
glued around it and then spray painted silver. And one year, someone in the family kind of put it at the back of the tree and she was really offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> so it had to come up to the front and then it got the little motorized thing where it would turn around. And sure. this year, actually, it really got its crown and glory where it is now our tree topper. We just kind of came across that. That's, that's great when you keep the old stuff, especially that somebody made. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That, I mean, you can't get any better than that. One of my Christmas decorations that I have, which I don't have out and it doesn't work anymore, was it was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs on a ladder. <laughs> and it hung, usually hung on the wall or the door or whatever. And each dwarf had lights in their hands with their tools. And they were all uh, pipe uh, pipe cleaner like figures with costumes and the heads it was it's a hideous thing i mean snow white she looks like this evil doll that you would see in a horror movie but <laughs> that's how old it is so all the lights are gone out of it but we still have that and that was from my childhood and i was born in 66 and it was kind of old then wow it's amazing yeah. hey matt jump in here what do you got what's what's your memory of favorite decorations as you were growing up you, you know, I actually have a, a, a good answer to this uh, because of something that's happened recently. Um, I think my favorite um, decoration that my family used to put up um, were these Christmas bells that um, you could press a button and they would light up and they would play classic cr Christmas music. I remember playing it all the time because I, I loved them and I, and I must have annoyed the crap out of my family just because of how much I used to play it. <laughs> Um, but then they disappeared and we didn't have them for, I don't even know how long. Um, cut to two weeks ago, I'm taking a shower and I, I still live with my parents. Um, at least right now I do. And um, I hear something playing and it's immediately, I immediately recognize it. I'm like, what, what is that? What's playing that music? And I go downstairs. My parents have brought out those old Christmas bells um are untangling them and replacing light bulbs and they're hanging them because um my niece is a year old now this will be her second christmas and they got them out for her oh, um that's nice yeah it's really it's really fun um i i couldn't believe how recognizable they were when i heard them it had been so long that my younger brother who's only two and a half years younger than me he didn't even remember them at all Really? Yeah. So now, it, I don't it had know. been 20 yeah. years, maybe. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how old this tradition has been, but do you have any memory of Elf on a Shelf in your family? No, I didn't hear about that until I was in my mm. 20s or late teens. Mm. I just saw one of the late night videos and they had this fake commercial. They said, forget about the Elf on the Shelf. It's Fauci on the couchy. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I have a better one. The new one uh, that I saw was Mandalorian on a DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Hey, let's take a little time now. Tom Nappy put out the call on social media for people to share decorations that they uh, have put up. And we got several pictures in. So I'm thinking we take a look at some of those. What do you think? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds excellent. All right. So here's the first one. And Mike is probably going to know what street all these houses are on. I don't know. Uh, this here uh, was Eastview Road. Are you making that up? No. <laughs> well, that's okay. somewhere. Yeah, no, I, that's I don't Eastview remember. Road. That and, uh, yeah, I, I love I love icicle lights. This particular one had the solid icicle lights hanging from the gutter. Uh, the tree was wrapped up in the bushes. Nice yeah. and simple, the way I like it. And when you have the snow, the untouched... That was the main purpose of this picture here was the untouched snow. You don't see any footprints going to the front door or yep. you still see them still on the bushes. Yeah. You know, every once in a while, I will see somebody and there will be a parent and a child out putting their decorations up. And I just love seeing that. I think that yep. is the nicest thing. Yep. So, so same, it's different. Same, different that's angle. the same house? Same house, different angle. I want to yep. show... I wanted to show, because if you look at the roof, they have one of those spotlights that shine the uh, patterns yes, on the yep. roof. That's what was going on there. That's why I shot same house, just a different oh, angle. Yeah. 
Okay. Nice. Oh, I like the different colors here. Yeah, and those have the icicles on the trees. See the purple ones coming down? Yeah. And they move. They animate it so it comes from the top to the bottom like they're dripping down. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. What's that spotlight on the right that, pointing that's, at? That's what pointed on that roof that we just saw, that last picture. Oh, oh, so the house is to the right here. Correct. So okay. that's technically there's three pictures of the same house. <laughs> yep. Well, let's get – okay, here's a different house now. Yep. Wow. You know what? I always give people credit when they go along their roof line, especially when they got a lot of trees on the left there. Right. That, this is a lot of work to do, and especially and you're going to see uh, some of them that have like a straight line. Like so you could tell it was like an engineer that yeah. pulled this together. You know, you'll see some of those. Yeah. So this, yeah, these here, this here is on the corner of Eastview and uh, 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 Robert Road. And I loved it because when you have the Santa, those are the classic. It's not the blow ups. Those are the hot plastic with the one bulb in the background. Yeah. And it took me five pictures to get it just right, the, the F stop and, and everything. But Santa Claus is a little bit blown up, but that was the best I could get them. Yeah. Yeah. I like the cans. The cans were the big one for us. That's what we used to do um, yeah. in our houses. And they got the candy canes off Friday. And of course, the blow ups. Who yeah. doesn't love a good minion? <laughs> uh. <laughs> and yeah, that had the angel pattern, which I, I love that little thing. It's just a nice little stick figure, and it, it, it almost looks like it's just floating there. Right, right. Nice job on the tree, too. That's a high tree. That's a high tree, and they got it all the way to the top, which I, you can see the people that they quit like halfway up because you know they can't reach it anymore. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this oh, one with the uh, kitty canes in the classic. Uh, I wish I shot that one a little higher, but the second floor also had uh, wreaths. Wreaths in the windows. Other. I can right. see it right at the top here. Yeah, and you got the single candles in all the windows too, which is uh, very special. Right. But yeah, I like nice. how they had this. They they chose one portion of the house to decorate, and they had that makeshift tree with the uh, candy cane. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. Same house. Very, Ooh, very nice classy. Job. Yeah. That, yeah. Same house. Yep. Very classy entrance. Hmm. Oh wow! Got the whole. They got the whole uh, show here. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh. That's just about everyone. And, Lynch, Frosty, and Rudolph. I, and Rudolph, you know, and, and Rudolph. I didn't know that was Rudolph at first. I thought it was a chipmunk. And then uh, <laughs> when I was when I was getting the photos ready to send to Tom, to, thank you, Tom, for putting the slideshow together, uh, then I realized, oh, my goodness, that is Rudolph. <laughs> Saw the red nose. Right. Okay. Oh, I like this. See, Oh, that's wow. That's really See how nice. They do the street lines? That's one of the things I was telling you about. Yeah. And, uh, and now one thing that I loved about – they did with those bushes in the front. They, you could tell they spent the time doing the spiral. Around. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> I like the people that get the now they make the nets that just hang over hedges. You know, it's it's like one big net, like you just set it on there. Uh, oh, done. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Are you, you sure that's not a net? Because that's I a can really tell that's not dense. a net. You can tell that they went right around. Wow, they got a really dense. <clears throat> really dense at the top, and you see how it's like. See at the then you look at the bottom, and you can see how it spreads out. Yeah. that's how you know they went around. Yeah. Now, is the actual coloring like Alien versus Predator, or was it actually white? <clears throat> that was there was a little bit more white to it, but yes, yeah. it picked up a lot of the yellow off the house. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, see, wow, this is like. This is a totally different style when you have a lot of greenery on there. That looks really good, too. Yeah, when you can add the – the the uh, do they call that garland, the green stuff, or is it – Yes, garland. garland. So when you add the natural garland like that, and, and that's a tough thing to do. It is That is yeah. not a simple task, putting that together. And then they wove the lights within it. Uh, very classy. And if you notice, the little uh, Red Rider uh, sled. Yes. Is yeah. that awesome? Yeah. Hmm. Right across from the blazing white Santa Claus. Yes, right. <laughs> mm. 
Now, this is nice. It's nice and simple because they have the nice LED lights that light up their doorway, yeah, which shows off the wreath. But they have those, uh, and I don't know what the figures are, but the uh, deer stick figures in the front yard. Yes, uh, yeah. These ones were not moving, though. You've seen some of them that are animated. Yeah, those, yeah. Those were not moving. But nice white lights around the hedges and, of course, the snow uh, on it, the, on the steps and everything. Yeah. It just made a beautiful shot. Yeah. And now, okay. from what I understand, I believe this is uh, coming from Faith Community Church now. It yes. started by the Doyle family, but someone told me Faith Community Church put this up now. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. So that's up on the common. Nice. I like it. That's every year. Oh, that's and, good. You know what? The Garden Club, God bless them. I mean, they do the they do a great job with the gazebo and everything, and they do not leave out the Doughboy statue. Because that is another uh, veterans memorial, very very simple. The town replaced the lights and they put in these nice LED lights. Yeah, and so just one simple wreath on there, and just seeing the reason I love this photo is you get the layer of snow on top. Yeah, yeah. It, it says it says Christmas. Yeah, and now the new tradition that uh, started uh, with the Hopkins. Uh, Light up as one. Mm -hmm. I had to include that. I mean, that was a nice little sign. If it was just a, a sign that was uh, lit up with a spotlight, I probably would have left it alone. But it had the uh, Christmas lights on the legs. Right. <laughs> nice. And, of course, the gazebo, the memorial gazebo that uh, that lights up at night. Great job. Got it, Club, every year. Mm -hmm. uh, just like the rest of the town. They beautify this town every year. At all different seasons, and Christmas is like any other. Right. Nice. It's yeah. starting Friday. Friday's the first night of Hanukkah. Yeah. So that's why there was no uh, lights. I, I took these on uh, Monday, Monday night. So there was no lights uh, lit yet because the first night is Friday. Okay. And that's the Christmas tree on the corner of the gazebo. That is not the tree that they usually decorate with the scouts that they have, which, of course, you know, above that, another tradition gone by Corona was the uh, Pox and Rec uh, Christmas tree lighting ceremony where old St. Nick would come and visit all the kids and mm -hmm. have a hot chocolate and cookies and yeah. caroling by the scouts. Oh. All right, listen, stop complaining. It's not gone by Corona, okay? It's just one year away. It's not World War II, Mike. <laughs> The vaccine is coming. It better come back. That's all I can say. It will. I'm sure it will. So uh, driving along uh, Pleasant Street here, there's one nice little uh, setup. Christmas presents. You don't see that too much anymore. People putting presents out around yeah. the tree. That's a lot of work. And, uh, you know, for it to survive uh, a season, here it is, you know, a few weeks before Christmas, yeah, they get some uh, presents out there. I thought that was a nice little touch. Looks good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, nice little displays up there. Uh, Someone washed out. And, and then they threw it on the uh, wall, as you can yeah. tell by the middle there. That's uh, 35 Pleasant Street. They look like big bulbs, too. Big bulbs? Oh, that's uh, that's another discussion that I want to bring up after this. <laughs> oh, and do you notice the, uh, the lights of the reindeers? Uh, they had one of those spotlights that, that moved around. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see the, the colored light in the top. It actually rained here. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that moves around. It juggles. Okay. Yeah. Well, nice. Now, the one I'm playing. Yes. Very classy. Yeah. Right the and you don't see too many people do that, you know, around the shutters like that. Right. You know, usually it's just around the windows. But here they went. They went the whole gutter line. They went around each door frame, window frame. And of yeah. course, the snow, I, I'm really glad that it we had what snow we had because uh, it made, I think it made all these pictures better. Yeah. It feels like Christmas. Yeah. And that's one tree. And I tried, this is, that was probably one of six pictures trying to get it without a blur, but that was the best I could do. Oh, uh, no kidding. <laughs> well, we did good work there, Mike. Yeah, that was fun. That was a nice little driving out. And a lot of people looking at me like, why are you standing out of my driveway? Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, well, as we're going through this, I think that we should do a uh, holiday competition because I'm telling you, you, you know, the people at the dog show have nothing on you. You can just keep that conversation going. <laughs> I tell you, they, they had, uh, well, it, Christmas means a lot to me. I mean, we've always, <laughs> the night of Thanksgiving, when we got home from my grandmother's, my mother would be breaking out the boxes and we decorated. Yeah. And next thing you know, I go to bed and I wake up, the whole house is done. Everything is done. My mother would stay up until one, two in the morning decorating the house. And we'd wake up in the morning and it was done. Always the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, no kidding. How about you? How when about did- you, Matt? When did you start? When do you start taking care of all the decorations? Um, we do it pretty, pretty early too. I think this year may have been a record because, uh, my parents wanted to decorate for their granddaughter. Um, it was the weekend after Thanksgiving this year. Yep. Is it typically that we try, we usually try to do that too, but sometimes we just slip a week. Uh, yeah, it's normally pretty quick. My birthday is in, um, mid, mid December. So as a kid, I always like to have the house fully decorated for my birthday party. Yep. So it's usually done by then at the latest, but it's yeah. So how about you, Jim? What did you guys start? Yeah, decorations. Well, usually the first weekend in December, but now you know we're very flexible on that because now we have uh, a child who is married and right now living out in Kansas. So we try to be very flexible, although it didn't work out for this year. Uh, so we're doing a, a Zoom thing. And it's just a lot of work. I mean, I hate to sound lazy, but it's just a lot of work pulling everything down from the attic and we got to clean everything up and move everything around. And so we typically like we get the house straightened up and ready one day. And then the next day we bring everything down and we take a few hours and we have all these little fun things that we do. You know, we have a nativity where everybody, the three kids, they all the pieces are wrapped up to keep them safe. And they try to pick which one is baby Jesus. So the, the winner is the one uh, who gets that one. Oh, so we cool. do things like that. That's cool. We've always had our, when I brought the tree, cause we always had a live tree. Uh, but after, uh, you know, starting my family, we, I grew up with fake trees, but starting my family, we went live trees and it would sit there a couple of days just so it could rest and fall down. And we'd schedule the time. This is going to be it, you know. And of course, when the kids were little, it wasn't bad because you just tell them to go. But yeah. as they got older, it's like, hey, guys, you have to be home because we are going to decorate at this time. And it was great. It's just great bringing the family together. And, you know, and that's that's what helps them keep their traditions. And now, and I, I know I told you and you, everyone knows that I'm going to be a grandfather coming in February. So my daughter and her family, you know, are, are going to have their own tradition. And I'm excited to see what she will pick up from what she had as a tradition to carry on with her family. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. That's really great. Uh, that's going to be like, you know, a new baby ornament next year. <laughs> <laughs> Already going to pick Baby's first Christmas. <laughs> That's so let me ask you, when it came to lights, and you said the big bulbs, small bulbs, what, what, what's your go-to bulb? Oh, well, I like LEDs now, you know. Uh, they're just, it's just, there's no heat, and they can do a lot of things. So I really like those. It's my favorite. So how about, what are my how favorite? You, Matt? We, we're okay. uh, we're going to wrap this up now. Yep. So, uh, Matt. Do you have do you have an opinion on what type of bulb is the best Christmas bulb? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have my own Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you set them up at your house? Uh, I help, but I don't know what kind of lights they are. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm LED everything. I just love. I just love all every light in my house is LED, and I tell you, it was noticeable on my electric bill. <laughs> Mike, I'm really disappointed you didn't bring in the video where the guy had the outside display that was timed to the Star Wars music. You got to get that next time. (laughs) Next time. All right. So listen, that's the end of this episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. And I hope that whatever holidays you um, practice, that you have safe and happy memories to share.